start a recording. Now we are. You know what Kishimu okay. is? Kishimu. The verb. Mm -hmm. To spin. Good to guess. To turn. It is to creak. To creak. Yeah. Are you guessing by the kanji? We got car in there. Um, so it's a squeaky yes. wheel. A squeaky wheel Kishimu. It's creak. Kishimu. Hi. Kishimu. This was gear. Sorry with ha. Do you know what it ended with? Guruma. Perfect. So let's go read this. Ha. Guruma wa kishinda. Which is um, the gear creaks. Yep, the gear creaked. Nice. Oh, ah. Next word. Can you read it for me? No no shi. No no shiru. Hi. No no shiru. No no shiru. No no shiru is to yell at somebody, but the yell like mean things. No no shiru. To curse at somebody, basically. Can you read this for me? Hi. Yojinbo wa no no shita. The bodyguard, um, ye yell right. Yeah, like, but specifically to say mean things, to like the curse at anything like that. So it's not necessarily the tone that matters, but like the actual words. So the curse at I... to yell abuse. It's like you know, like a sergeant being like, "You pansies, you little girls, run faster!" <laughs> would be a no shiro, no no shita. Versus like a normal yelling and being like, hey, you forgot your pens. That wouldn't be. No, no, she that there's no abuse in there. <laughs> Hi. Um, so this word, ha guruma, showed up in the sentence and I'm not going to make you read it. But I, I was like, ha ha, we, we see we got one more vocab down. We got three more to go before you read that. Um, so let's go read Hi. the line from the book. Aguruma no kishimu otoya otoko ga no no shiru koe mo suru. Aguruma no. Okay, so. Aguruma no kishimu. The creaking sound. The creaking sound of the gear. And the the voice of the man cursing uh, there's also yep. so there are the sound of gears and also the sound of of men talking badly yeah perfect yep so those are examples of why the room was so loud um can you read this area for me Hi. Dada Hiroi Heyada. You say Hiroi? Room. Hmm. Dada Hiroi. Yes, Hiroi. It's P. Dada Piroi. We got some ah, kind of like Rendaku, but a little different. Dada Piroi. Hi. Dada Piroi Heya. What does this mean? We got small hair, 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 big hair, narrow hair, tall hair. What kind of hair do we have? We have a wide, large hair. Perfect. And can you read this area for me? Todori. Oh. Ba. Todori oh. ba. Oh. Oh. Dori. Tori. Oh, Dori ba. Tori is a bird. Tweet, tweet. Birds aren't very good at dancing. So you got to add a do. <laughs> do. Hi. Uh, do you know what this word over here is? Oze. Oze hito. Perfect. A large crowd of people. And last one is this guy. Kinzoku. Perfect. Neto. Can you read this for me? Um, 
kogeru. Yep. Kogeru is to be burnt. Kogeru. What was to be burnt in Japanese? Kogeru. Noise. Can you read this for me? Koge, kogeru. Oh, the page is loading. My internet's very slow lately. Past like three days. Yes, it's been. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is Kinzoku ga kogo kog kogeta. Hi, kogeta. The the metal was burning, or the yeah, metal, metal was, was burnt. burnt. Nice. Not hard to burn metal, but it's doable. So tsuntokuru is pungent. Tsuntokuru. And like the smell just kind of comes at you and you're like, oh. Um, so let's go read the line from the book once you can see it. I mean, well, not from the book. It's a blue page. So it's a made up sentence. Hi. Kogeta kinzoku wa tsunto kuru. O ni oi ga tsuru. The burnt metal produces a pungent smell. Perfect. Nice. Uh, oh, can you read this word for me? Tadayo. Tadayo. Yep. Tadayo. So tadayo is when a smell wafts toward you, which I just realized I had no idea how to spell that. Like, how do you spell waft? It's not how it's pronounced. Curse English. You have to do Japanese. You're like, aha, I know how to read if I know how to say it, but no. Uh, so like the smell like floats toward you basically, wafts toward you. Tada yo. Hi. Hi. And chiku chiku is a pringling or stinging sensation. So chiku chiku. Kind of like when you have a cough in your throat. Um, Quickly. Do you know what that word that's bolded is? Oh. No doll. The throat is yeah. another. And what is the te form of tadayo? Tadayo. Tadayotte. Yep, tadayotte. And what did it mean, do you know? We say tadayo was to whiff. Yeah. Right, to, to, waff. to whiff across. <laughs> the sound to waff. Waff across. <laughs> The, the the smell basically like something in the air floats toward you is like it's like a slow so it's not like a push in your face it's just kind of like it's like when you smell something and you can smell it that is tadayo from my understanding that's how right. smell works it's, so it just means you can smell it, it but it's just talking about how the smell got to you physically and like science right. <laughs> it drifts tadayo. its way over um, so let's go read the smell the the sentence from the book. Hinzoku ga tsuzu no kogeru. Kogeru yona sunto kuru. Ni oi ga tarayote kite. Nodo ga chiku chiku tsuru. Hey, right, so see, we got some verb endings the... right here. Tells us a lot of important information. Hi. So we had the subject here is kinzoku, the metal. That's uh, a good the metal guess. is ko. I would say the subject here the is metal. actually nioi. It's hard because we have multiple gas here. This ga is connected hi, to hi. the verb kogeru. And kogeru ends with do, but it doesn't end with a period. So we know it's modifying yo. Yo is modifying this word right here, tsuntokuru, which is ending with do, so we know it's modifying nioi. So these is two relative clauses modifying nioi. And we say that tsuntokuru was a pungent smell, right? right? Something pungent. pungent. Kind of smacks you in the face. Punches you in the face to smell. The, the, the smell that was the smell that was similar to that of a burnt metal. Yep. It whips across oh. towards me. It tarayo yes. kite. Yep. 
it wafts toward me. It drifts towards me. I think me. you don't know the word waft. Right. So drift toward you is a good word to use. <laughs> Do we not right. say waft right. anymore? <laughs> Why not? Yeah. I've, when have I heard the word right. waft? <laughs> oh, well, no. it sounds it sounds waft so weird. But I I do play, I do, I do hear often they say get a whiff of this or get, oh, get a smell. Oh, they do of say that. Get a whiff of this. Right. Yeah. But so I got wow, a whiff. Well, like, <laughs> I got a whiff of a pungent. It, it walks across the room. Walks toward me. I haven't heard that one for huh. a while. Um, <laughs> The smell drifts towards so me, so drifts it, is probably the better word. It drifts towards me, and it's pungent. And so, because of, because of that, is my nodo nodo ga chiku chiku suru. It causes my throat to itches. Yes. To prickle. To prickle. So basically, it feels like he has a cough, right? <laughs> Hi. Um. Ah, can you read this word for me? Kiki Mimi. Yep, Kiki Mimi. So Kiki Mimi is to strain one ear. I put this down here to make sure I wouldn't get it wrong. So your ears, you're listening with them, but specifically you're trying to listen. Kiki Mimi. Kind of like Mimi Osumatsu. So it's the it's a synonym. It's a synonym mm -hmm. to it is. The difference is that this is ear. a noun. And mimi o sumasu, to strain your ear, is like a word, is like a word with a verb. So, theoretically, this is a noun. So, slightly different uses grammatically. Um, This right here is byo. Do you happen to know what byo means? I've seen it in the seconds. It does. Minutes it means and seconds. seconds. So, these are seconds. Yep. Byo is seconds. Can you read this word for me? Shu yo. Yep, subyo. Subyo is several. Shu. Several what do you think? Yo, several. Several seconds. Yep, several seconds. Subyo. So su means math. Basically. <laughs> the math word. Doing it means like numbers and math and stuff. Su, subio, several seconds. Um, what did this sec several seconds start with? And it was bio. Su, perfect. Subio, can you read this for me? Hi, kon wa subio mata. It's waiting, right? It's mata. Mm -hmm. Um. So Con waited for several seconds. Perfect. Can you read this for me? Um, kiki mimi o tatteru. Uh, and we say that tatteru here in this context is to start something, right? To be it something. can mean that in some ways. A lot of times, it can mean like the start of sound, or it can mean like to put something up, kind of. Um, in this case, it is to listen intently. Like in English, we say to prick one's ears. So you have a similar, I don't even know what prick means actually. I'm like, prick makes you think like your ears poke up. So I'm assuming that's what that word means, mm -hmm. but maybe your ears are twitching. They're like, oh, what's going on? In, a, in the anime kind of way. <laughs> Big ass prickly Hi. ears. So this is the string of ears, so but listen. literally used to listen attentively. Yeah, basically sim synonyms of the mimio sumasu. Can you read this word for me? Subio gone. Hi. So this is basically very similar to subio. It's basically saying we have a box of time now that's several seconds long. So you'd use it grammatically different. Um, so this one right here basically acts like a counter, Hi. and this acts as like more like a noun grammatically. Um, so this what is say it? an and, interval? Yeah. yeah, an interval of several seconds. Exactly. It's say an, an interval of several seconds. Yes, uh, this is Kong. Hi. Um, do you know what sarani means? I feel like you struggled with that. On top of that. 
Yes, on top of that. So furthermore, on top of that, moreover. Um, let's skip that. Okay, you get to go read the line from the book. Sarani Subyogan Imimi O Tatete Itara Shika Shikara Kaidan O Nobote Kuru Ashioto Gaishita. Nice. So on top of that, on top of that, several an interval of several seconds. So in this case, it basically this is modifying the several top... sentence to be meaning even after a couple of seconds, it's what it's being mean. So basically, sarani is basically being used. I waited a couple more seconds, kind of is is what it's meaning here. Mm -hmm. So because before, like he's like listening and he's like. So for a couple more, but he's like saying, so I already was here waiting some amount of time. So we're just adding on top of that previous amount of time I was waiting a couple more seconds. So yeah, it's it's a hard word to translate for some reason, but it's just kind of saying, and more time has passed. Who would have thunk it? Hi. And uh, it is it. Itara is um when yeah right when I've listened intently mm -hmm. uh shikara shitakara. shikara kaidan o shitakara from below well I would almost see look at this verb the right stare here, that kudu. is below hmm look at the verb it ends with kudu, kudu but there's no come. period. It was modifying ashiga, ashioto. ashioto ga, the sound that is. Yeah. So when he strains his ears, the... he hears a sound of footsteps. Right? Hi. And the footstep, the footstep is that of a climbing towards him from below. Yeah. Someone is approaching Up him. The stairs. Climbing the stair. Perfect. So, how do you think that meaning would have changed if we had to here instead? Tate uh, iru to. It would have mean that. It would basically mean immediately. Hear... Exactly. As soon as he tries to hear, he hears this. The ta tara allows some time to pass between the actions, especially with this um, sara, sara ni subyokan. Because we know he's been wait he waits some amount of time. It's not instantly, okay, I listen, bam, people are coming. Instead, he's like paused for a second, straining his ears while he's paused, and then he hears something. So this, this tara allows there to be more time gap. And Tata's talking about, because we're talking about one specific occasion, really, tends to be when Tata's show is used. It's a little bit like, so right now, I hear something. I'm straining my ears. This is what happens. Okay. Um, can you read this word for me? Hi. Kakutsu. Yeah, kakutsu. You know what kakutsu means? Kakutsu means... To hide. Yeah, to hide. Uh, da -da. Can you read this for me? Kaidan o no ke. Close. Ka. Agate. Kake agate. Kake agate. What do you think this means? Okay. The stair. The what to the stair? I go up the stair. I rush up the stair. Yes, I rush up Rushes. the stairs. Perfect. Kake gives the meaning of rushing. What's this word right here? Nutsu. Close. Kaku. Kakusu. What did kakusu, kakusu mean? To hide. Yep, to hide. 
Uh, what is the stem form of kakusu? Stem form of kakusu is kakushi. Perfect. Um, here's a new kanji. This guy right here is tobida. Tobida is another way to say doa. Doa. Tobida. To some extent, they're interchangeable. I would say doa is more common these days if you're talking about a normal door. And tobida tends to show up if you're talking about some kind of special door. So like a tatami door or a certain specific kind of door. But door is more common if you're talking about doors in general. Like a western door with a doorknob. Um, can you read this for me? Got a hard I, word up here. Um... <laughs> Oh man. Kaza. Uh, Azari no suita. Um, toro, torori, tororo. To be da. Tobida. There's a very Tobi, popular Tobira. Japanese textbook series called Tobida. It's a door to learning Japanese. Tobira. Ever heard of Tobida? It's by Kazari the same company no as Genki. I haven't heard of it, but maybe I've seen it. Tobira. Tobira. Oh, it had a frog. Frog. Oh, no, it isn't. Uh, okay, no, no. Tobira, I haven't seen it. Tobira. Uh, the book. Tobira. It's been door. So what kind of door are we talking about? Hazari no tuita Tobira. Kazari no suita, a decorated door. Yes, it is a decorated door. Do you remember how to read this word? Um, kazu ka, karasu. Kakusu. Kazu su. Kakusu. Nakurendo. Kaku. 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 Kakusu. You gotta go buy a nice place to hide in. So I want you to combine kaku, the verb kakusu with the word tobira. Any guesses how we can do some kameha and make this into one word? So not a relative clause, we're turning this into a new word. Or compounding it. Lani, have you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? I haven't. So I said the wrong one. Come has the attack. I don't know what the <laughs> turning into the thing. It's, I only know the meaning. Is this? <laughs> is yeah? Is this the silly thing when the two kids they stick yeah. their fingers together and they, and they join into, into like a new character? Yeah, I think that's not called Kameha. Is yeah. it? Was <laughs> that what it called? I think Kameha is actually um, the fire beam. Oh, the fire beam, ha! yeah, the fire beam. Oh. No, you you should get a picture. <laughs> you should get a picture of those two character, uh, do their fingers thing, and they 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 touch fingers. Yeah. It's <laughs> been aimed be a lot in for... other animes. <laughs> I bring this up a lot for whenever I have to combine things. Conjugating, <laughs> combining two two uh, two yeah. sound two word together. Absolutely, but yeah, you so gotta do it now. Gotta do it. Kakusu torobi. Hi hi. To tobi We take the stem form. Yes. Hi. We take the stem form, which is kakushi plus tobira. So it's kakushi tobira. Any guesses what a takushi tobira might be? How about we get a door? A hidden get... door. Yeah, hidden door. Kakushi tobira. Um, can you read this word for me? Okay. So, main thing I want you to know is to, you know what the kake adds to this. Uh, nukeru is to go through. It's to do it quickly, to rush yes. through. To rush through. Nice. And I gotta turn on my fan because my computer is like, hey, it was on for an hour. It's good enough. Slideshow. Um, I wish I could. <laughs> I wish I can turn on the fan for my brain right now because it's yeah, it's steaming right now. Work. It's over. 
<laughs> Don't worry, you only got three minutes left of class, I think. Something like that. Yeah, three minutes. I, uh, and he gets us how to read this one. Close. This is a Iki. small. Yep. Iki. So that's all at once or in one go. Iki ni. Um, what did it start with? It ended with Iki. Oh, in one. Yeah. Hi, can you read this word for me? Kake no boru. Perfect. What do you think this means? To go up quickly. So, so the rush, rush up words. Up. Can you read this for me? Iki ni soto o datta. Detta. It's dasu deru. Dasu deru. Past form of dasu deru. Dasu deru. Detta. So, dasta would be the da, the she in there. Da is married to she. Da, da and she got married. She. Don't separate them. I... Dashi. So detta is to go out. Hi hi. So I go outside in one move in one yep. one one move. I go. It can be that all at once. Go outside. So it could be in one move. Could be some people working. You could talk about everybody moving at once. And I'm not sure what my goal is here, but we're gonna start here. Never mind. I'm over here is the word I wanted. Hi. The first half. Right there. Uh, shizume. Yeah, from shizume. What does uh, that mean? It means the breath, to hold the breath, to calm yes. the breath. Specifically, shizumeru. calm the breath is the way to think about it. Because theoretically, ikkyo tomeru does exist, which is actually to stop breathing, to hold the breath. So Tomaru would be actually holding, and Suzumi is the hold steady. But in general, they're kind Suzume. of the same. So hold steady versus what does Ikkyo Tomaru mean? Ikkyo Tomaru is to hold the breath, to stop yeah. the breath. No breathing with Tomaru. Okay, now we get our last line of the day. Let's all read it. Ore wa Ikkyo Tomete. Kaidan o iki ni. Sorry about that. Oh, that is an alarm. Um, ore wa, ore wa iki o tomete kaidan o iki ni kake no bor boruto. Um, show. So tada uh, Shodana no um Kakurenbo, Kakushi, Kakushi, Tobira, Kara, Soto, Ni, Deta. Again. Man, that's a wee wee's. There's something going on mm -hmm. outside of my place. Um, Gary living in a big city. So I. Yeah. I'll tell you what happened to me this weekend later. Ore wa iki o tomete, meaning stop the breath. And um, I quickly go up the stair in one go. And I, um, from from the hidden door, from the hidden door of the bookshelf, I go outside. Yep. Perfect. I go out of the hidden door. Basically, yeah. Basically, he rushes back up where he were. Exactly. So I'll stop recording.